All right, so good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the mod of Redemption. Today, I'm finally back and just in time for Valentine's Day. So let me start by saying happy Valentine's Day to each and every one of you. I should say that this is a holiday that should never be taken seriously. It is actually one of the most pointless days of the year. But if it is a day to talk about what you love or maybe who you love, I love Chicken Run. And I'll never make it a secret, all right? I'll say it proud. But yeah, I'm back. I needed to uh, to take a couple of days off, essentially to clear my mind. In the last episode, I was talking about the fact that I had a meeting to go look at a house, essentially. Now, that meeting went very well, and me and Court actually got the ball rolling. Now, we don't really have any news, and I won't have news for a good couple of weeks, probably. I don't know how far this ball is going to go, or maybe even how fast the ball is going to roll, but it's starting to roll, and it's kind of exciting, but yeah, it's all very overwhelming, so I was like, alright, take a few days off, relax the mind, and then if I have an important decision to make, I can do it with a clear head, and it really helped, actually. While I was on a break, I completely gutted my office, which meant, like, moving every single cable, dusting everything, cleaning everything, rewiring it all, restructuring it all, and it all feels very fresh. Like, I'm looking around my office today, and I'm like, I'm really glad I did this. Yeah, I did that, like, two days ago, and I'm coming in today for the first time. It's nice. It actually smells really nice in here as well. It usually smells just fine, all right? But it smells extremely nice because I got this scented dettol, and it's just really nice. Anyway, welcome back. I'm really excited about today's episode. Today, we are off to hard mode. That's right. We're going to defeat the Wall of Flesh. Now, before we do that, there's been a bit of a debate about a particular weapon. If you've been reading the comments a lot, you'll see a lot of people saying, don't make the Knight's Edge of Staves. So I called this the Zenith of Staves, mainly because it required so many different items. It was like seven or eight staves. But there is a Knight's Edge stave, so let's have a little look at it. Now, commenters. The commenters who have played the mod of Redemption have said, avoid the Lunar Crescent Staff. It's not worth it, all right? It's not worth the time, basically. Here's the thing. The mod developer has said, well, Chippy has the beta, and I've changed it and made it a little bit better. Now, I'm torn if I want to invest the time into this, mainly because with this weapon right here, the Wall of Flesh is going down really quickly. It's, it's actually not even going to matter all that much. But, I don't know, I'm kind of torn, because I'm like, well, if I have the beta... Maybe I should show it off and actually, like, give people a better idea of maybe what's to come. So it shouldn't be too hard to make. So this is made with Demonite. So let's make that now. Um, it's right here. Bam. So we still have to get Hellstone today. We have a few things, actually. We've got to do... Uh, we've got to get the Goblin Tinkerer to make our accessories. We've got to get Hellstone. We've got to prep Hell. Um, but yeah, by the end of the episode, 100%, um, we're going to do the Wall of Flesh. Because... Uh, there's no reason to, like, delay it. Let's, um, let's just, like, get really into it. So, here's the thing. I'm pretty certain I grabbed another one of these water bolt staves. Yeah, I did. I did grab another one. So, this is important because, essentially, if I don't like the weapon all that much, I can just go back to my stave. A lot of you were saying, oh, it might just be worth it to, um, to basically just grab the um the special ability with it so you like you right click on it get the special ability swap to the weapon you actually want so i don't know it could be really good maybe i think we're making it i think we're making it you know what? I've, I've convinced myself so i want to grab some hunter potions and that is because we are walking down into hell and we are going to be grabbing the goblin tinkerer on the way so while i've been away there's been actually some really cool gaming news news that i'm like so excited about. So, Stardew Valley 1.5 is now out on Switch, which is really cool. I'll be honest, I haven't even played it, and I feel really bad about that, because I was, like, so excited about it. I was tweeting about it every day. Um, but yeah, I've, I've not had the chance to play it, unfortunately. Um, just because, like I said, clear mind. And, um, and it's not been able to, to kind of get into it. In other news, Ratchet & Clank for the PlayStation 5 has a release date. Which is awesome. Apparently it comes out in June. Now, a fun little fact about me, which not a lot of people know. Well, I guess you will know. If you're a classic Chippy's Couch fan, you'll know this. Because uh, I went on a big uh, binging session with Ratchet & Clank back in the day. But I am like an extreme Ratchet & Clank fan. 
Like, I'm a really big fan. So back in the day, on PlayStation 3, um, Ratchet & Clank A Crack in Time, which is like the seventh game, it used to have a feature where it would track who has replayed the game the most in the world. And every day you would log on to leaderboards and it would say something like, Bob has replayed A Crack in Time 50 times or 100 times, whatever else, right? So there was a period of, of time, basically, and I, and I think about 2011, probably the year Terrari came out, where I had the world record for the most replays of a crack in time, which is which is bonkers, I know. Oh, this is the new ore, by the way. So we found out we had new ore. I can't mine it yet, so I think I've got to get a, a hellstone pick, maybe. Yeah, I really love Ratchet and Clank, so I'm super excited to replay it. The last game was very pretty. But it was very forgetful, unfortunately. It was meant to be a remake, a reboot. Oh, it was just, I don't know. It, it, it was weird. I was excited to have it because I wanted a, a next-gen Ratchet game. But I kind of consider that we never really had a Ratchet game on the PlayStation 4. I don't know. It's more of a tech demo. It was so nice. That's what Ratchet & Clank's done now, I think, to, to set it apart from the rest. It's like, hey... We're a 3D action platformer, like many games that you know, which is kind of a, a dying genre, at least in the modern world. But their gimmick is like, oh, we look like Pixar. Yeah. You, you like nice looking games? We got the best looking games. But yeah, I'm really excited about that. That's cool. I'm trying to think if there's been any other news. I don't think there has been, to be honest. I think, I think other than that, that's it. But that's two really big things for me. So that's been cool. I also uh, watched all of Queen's Gambit. Really, really good. I really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, it was it was phenomenal. I really, really liked it. The only thing it could have done is maybe cut out an episode because they had all these recurring characters that would leave and come back and then leave and come back. And I was like, well, you could probably get rid of some of that. But it was it was enjoyable. That's a good recommendation for anybody that wants to watch it. It's only like seven hours long, which which not actually that bad. That's like two Lord of the Rings movies. If you're watching the extended editions, maybe even like less than that, isn't it? Aren't the extended ones like four hours, something like that? I don't know. And I don't want to ask Red about it because <laughs> Google took away his Lord of the Rings. No, Red actually got his uh, Google account back, apparently. And the YouTube channel's back. I'm probably going to do an update video about that on Chippy Gaming just because the, the first video was, was so highly viewed. I'm like, well, I probably should do a follow-up just out of moral responsibility. So people are in the loop. Um, okay, I'm just, come on, don't die, let's just get some air, come on, here we go. Alright, let's, let's work our way down to hell anyway. I was gonna use this time to get the new ore, but I don't think we're gonna be able to now. Oh my god, I just realised, alright, because I was so focused on the news, um, <laughs> I saw a little thing pop up with my character, the rare detection meter thing, indicator. That probably was the Goblin Tinkerer. All right, forgive me. Because <laughs> I know it probably said Goblin Tinkerer up here and I was just completely blind. I'm sorry, I'm sure you were screaming at your screen. I apologize, all right? I'm a smooth brain and uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it's Valentine's Day. You can't be too mad at me, all right? It's the day of love. <laughs> all right, bound goblin. Uh, it's pointing to down here. So it's always oh, there. Oh no. Oh god, <laughs> there's a lost soul, and I'm, I'm thinking that the lost soul might actually kill him. Also, I can't get into here because of the lava. Oh wait, no wait, yeah. So we'll take this, and we'll dig down. But what we've got to make sure we don't do is kill him with the lava. Alright, we've got to be very careful about this, because this could go very wrong. I tell you what, maybe what I should try and do is, is drown, or like drain the lava a little bit. There's probably a cave system down here. That, yeah, because look, you can see... I pointed to my actual monitor then. All right, here's my mouse. All right, here we go. I literally pointed. I was like, oh, it's over here. Like, it's over here. You can't see. You can't see. I'm an idiot. <laughs> okay, right. Drain that out. I guess I'm not going to be able to drain it that much. I'll tell you what I might be able to do. I might be able to get super, super close this way and just unbind him. Yeah, this this is working. This is actually working. All right, here we go. Um, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, do we need anything else? I don't think we do. Yeah, it's good. All right, we have a goblin. This is good. If I <laughs> if I knew I was going to use it, I'd reforge this, but there's no point. 
According to you lot as well, you also got rotten ones. I don't know if they just naturally come rotten. All right, here is hell. Very exciting. I tell you what, I'm going to grab that. Oh, no. <laughs> Thank God we've got obsidian skin or <laughs> I'd be walking back here any second. All right, let's go grab this uh, fire blossom, mainly because... Uh, I don't actually have that many obsidian skin potions. I do have some fire blossom growing, but I don't think I've harvested any. I don't actually know when fire blossom um, blooms, to be honest. It's not an orb that... Sorry, it's not a herb that I care about too much. So that's interesting. You can see how the, um, the water bolt is actually piercing through the blocks. I don't know if that's an intentional feature or maybe somewhat of a slight glitch. But that's actually going to work in our favor. Because if we're water bolting about and... Um, you know, there's something in our way. This is good. All right, so there is a locked chest down here. I feel a little bad, mainly because um, you never really know with modded if this is going to be like a new item popping up. Because normally, at this point, I wouldn't really care too much about shadow chests. Maybe if I was playing 1.4, because I kind of like them in 1.4. They've got some good stuff in there. But in 1.3.5, ah, it don't really matter. So, okay. But yeah, I don't, I don't have a shadow key. And uh, to be fair, I probably could walk back to the dungeon, go get one. But I'm going to be honest, I'm not really bothered. Mainly because we're going to be moving into hard mode. And I am really excited about that. I feel like um, it's always... I, I feel like in a lot of mods, it's always their time to shine in hard mode. Because hard mode is the point of the game that I prefer the least, I would say. Um, mainly just to start a hard mode. You know, I'm, just, I'm, not, I'm not super into it. Um, but with a mod, you know, they've got a lot of chances to, to kind of mess around with that. Like, Calamity does it really well. Thorium does it really well. So there's a new enemy here. I just want to kill this new enemy just to see what um, he's about. Oh, my God. 117. Oh, sorry. 118 damage. Are you for real? That is a lot of damage. All right. Let me get my... Why aren't you giving me a right-click buff? Oh, that's really weird. I can't right-click. Oh, it's because of a um, smart cursor. All right. <laughs> I was like, why aren't you giving me a buff? Come on. Oh, God. Oh, God. Well, there we go. We killed him. All right. So he dropped uh, Hellstone and Obsidian. All right. Yeah, if I see any new enemies, I'll try kill him. Because when we got the um, the awesome uh, stay from the... from the I can't remember what it's called. From the, from the chest piece. That was, like, amazing. And that was worth getting. All right, let's just grab as much obsidian as possible, and then we'll we'll boot out of here. The thing is, uh, I don't know. Uh, nah, I'm going to take another one. And one of these as well. And I, I tell you what I'll start to do. I'll start to clear out a path. All right, so the arena in hell is now complete. Thing is, I've never actually done this before, but usually when I make a house, I usually make it in the middle. So when I dig through the world, I'm essentially like cutting through houses to try and get to the point where it's like free hell, you know, no houses. But the funny thing is, is like this area here off to the right, it's probably where that is. So what we'll do is next time we go down there, we'll head right. And then we should have like a really, really long arena. I think we're going to smash this. Like, I feel like it's going to be another eater of worlds. So I've put in our new crafting stuff. We got the Tinkerer's Workshop. We got the Hell Forge. We've already got a guide voodoo doll, so that's favorited. Um, so essentially, we can just start dumping stuff in here and get into work on some upgrades. So we probably need to put in uh, this and this and also this. This is going to free up a lot. Like <laughs> This is going to be very good. Okay, accessories. So we need to make a obsidian skull. So we'll make that now. What is that? Blooming look. Oh, oh, right. This is the uh, this is the upgrade that we wanted to do. Okay, for some reason I, I had it in my head. It was more like an obsidian shield, but I guess it isn't. Okay, so we'll make that. Bam. Thank you very much. Um, so what what it gives is it grants immunity to knockback, but it also gives five percent increased druidic damage, and also increases the chance of finding rare. An epic drops. All right. Well, I like that. Um, we'll also make a balloon. So we'll make the cloud in a balloon. And then we'll also make the blue horseshoe balloon. So that is done. Uh, we'll also make the specter boots. Thank you very much. Now, can we make the lightning boots? I don't actually know. Um, do we have an aglet or an anklet? Let's see. Anklet. No. Aglet. Yes. 
All right, maybe it's worth a, a trip to the to the jungle. I might do that now. We do have a Spelunk potion available. Should we do that? I don't know. It's probably not essential right now. Uh, so maybe we'll do that when we're in hard mode. I think, yeah, we'll just, we'll just add that to the list. So this should actually be it. This is everything that we need to make. So let's make some Hellstone bars. So we'll make a whole bunch of these. All right, 50 bars. That's not bad. Uh, we'll make the Hell Pickaxe, which I can't remember the name of. Molten Pickaxe. Bam. And then we also need to make the Stave, don't we? So we'll make that the Molten Stave. Bam. So let's actually have a little look at this Molten Stave. Let's see what it's all about. So... That's interesting. I don't think I would use this just on its own. Mainly because there's not a lot of situations where... You'd have to be, like, running away from an enemy to really use it. But the right click is this. This looks like the same one with the water bolt, but it's got this on top of it as well. It's got an imp. All right, that's kind of cool. Uh, so, do we have to make this at a demon altar or not? Lunar Crescent. Yeah, you do. You have to make it at a demon altar. Okay. All right, well, let's, let's go give it a go. Uh, stave. So, we need the grass stave. We need this one. We also need the demonite one. And I think that's it. Yeah. All right. Let's give it a go. This is exciting. Oh, so something cool happened like two days ago. No, I don't think it was last night. Yeah, it was two days ago. So you may have seen because it went instantly very viral. Tommy in it was playing Terraria on Twitch, which was very cool to see. Very clearly a big fan of Terraria. But there was a really wholesome moment in the stream because obviously being a Terraria fan, I popped by. Uh, and I just asked, I was like, hey, have you done King Slime yet? Because it looked pretty early days. And he had a wonderful reaction. He was like, chippy. It's like, I used to watch you. And then it all kind of clicked with me. So, you may remember back when I was doing uh, preparation for the MCC, I was watching this video made by In The Little Wood, and I kept seeing this clip of Tommy in it. And I kept saying, why do I recognize this guy so much? Like, there's something about him that I really recognize. Now, as you all know, I'm not a big Minecrafter, uh, and I don't really keep up with that scene. Actually, I'm just going to read this real quick. So, Lunar Crescent Stave. Right-clicking will summon a Lunar Statuette. It does 40 Druidic damage. The type is Mystic. The special ability is a Triple Shot slash Nightshade's Embrace. All right. Let's not summon it here. We've got to protect the pot. Let's give it a go. Let's try it out. So... Ooh, okay. Kind of interesting. It seems like a uh, a demon scythe. That's what it reminds me of. Here's the right-click ability. Uh, and what does the right-click look like with this? Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to use it for the special ability. That's really amazing. Oh, yeah. So, going back to Tommy in it, I recognized him because he used to be a frequent commenter on the channels. And I remember, like, I must have clicked on his profile one day, seen a little video of him, and for some reason it just kind of stuck in my head. But I am kind of like that, because I, I, I'm i definitely a very visual person when it comes to my memory. I remember a lot of you lot by your profile pictures rather than your names. And a lot of you, I click on your channels. A lot of you don't expect it. A lot of you, like, go, hey, can you check out my channel? Or you mention, like, a project you're working on. And I actually check it out. And a lot of you probably think that I don't. But I actually do. And I'm nosy like that. And this is just a face that I just seem to remember. And yeah. I just think it's really cool. Um, I hope he has a moment like this in a couple of years. Where some large creator goes, Hey, I used to watch you. Um, yeah, just a nice little moment. And uh, we spoke really briefly on Twitter. He seems like a very lovely guy. And um, ah, I don't know. I just... It's it's lovely. It's such a lovely thought. Like, I don't know. I'm glad he's a fan of Terraria because, you know, Terraria fans are kind of hard to come by in the creator scene. So I hope he plays some more of it because, it, to be honest, it was a laugh. It was wholesome as, as hell because basically the stream was him showing Terraria to his mates. And he clearly loved Terraria. So it's like getting your mates together and showing them your favorite game. I think there's nothing really better than that. And they all seem to like it, which was nice. I'm going to be honest, I don't really... I don't know much about his world because I'm not a Minecraft guy. But I don't know. It's cool. Well done to him. Uh, right, let's go do the Wall of Flesh.
Yeah, this is going to be very easy. <laughs> I'm, like, not worried about this at all. Oh, so as a weapon, it has a little bit of a gravity effect. I tell you what, it is actually pretty powerful. I think... I think it seems more like a single target thing. Maybe if you were doing, like, a large boss like the Eye of Cthulhu, it'd probably be really, really good. But yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. I do quite like it. I think the, the best part is the triple shot special ability. I think that's what makes it so good. Because just as a weapon, it's all right. It's all right. I'd be a little bit gutted if I didn't have a second water bolt. But thankfully, I do. So, let's go do it. If I sound a little bit different, by the way, I should say. I'm not ill. I do have a blocked nose, though. Oh, a bit of a development. This is kind of funny, right? So, you know I always say that I'm allergic to horses? Now, um, I actually have a fear of horses, for those that don't know. Essentially, when I was younger, I watched uh, a horse bite my friend in the face. Left him a little scar, right? Um, horses are temperamental. They're, they're very lovely, though. Don't get me wrong. Anyway, I'm scared of horses, so as you can imagine, I don't touch horses. Like, if I'm near one, I'm not one to, to put my hand on it, because it freaks me out. Anyway, I've always thought I was allergic because of the fact that I sneeze around them, or I get a blocked nose. But, the other day, I touched a horse, right? Um, <laughs> I was, like, walking near horses, because I live near horses, and I needed to get past one. And as I was going past, it kind of rubbed its, like, nose on my hand as I was, like, briefly walking past, and my whole hand swelled up. So I'm, like, really allergic to horses. I had no idea, like, I was that bad. Um, but I just thought that was interesting. Uh, alright. So we're just gonna keep moving right through this little world bit here. And when we get to the no house part, which should be in, like, a second. This might even be the last house. Let's see. Yeah, it is. Alright. We'll do the wall of flesh over here. Yeah, this is going to be really good. But yeah, if I sound a little bit different, block nose. I think it's because my sleep has been a little bit off. I, um, yeah, late nights, basically. Um, thinking about the important decisions. Oh, man. I can't wait to play some Stardew Valley 1.5. I really can't. <laughs> That's my true Valentine today. I do like Valentine's Day in the sense of, like, I always cook a nice meal. That's pretty much what I do for Valentine's Day for court. So tonight, we're just having our usual Valentine's Day meal. Steak, homemade chips, and sticky toffee pudding for dessert, which is, like, the best. I also got some nice ice cream to go with it, so it's going to be delicious. I'll tell you what I am going to do. I'm going to do this thing. I can't remember what it's called, but there's a, there's a little thing where you make a, an espresso, and you have it with ice cream, with vanilla ice cream. I can't remember what it's called. I think it's, like, a scoop of ice cream with an espresso poured on top. But it looks really nice, and I'm going to go for that. So I'm probably going to have that tonight as well. That's going to be fun. Oh, man. Right, Wall of Flesh time. I can't believe we're already here. It's, it's weird. A lot of you have said the series will be shorter. I think I spoke about this the other day, actually. Yeah, I agree. It probably will be, but that's all right. Wall of Flesh! Let's go! All right. Let's see how powerful we are, then. So here's the triple shot. Oh, God. So I didn't take a obsidian skin, which I should have done. Which is why I'm getting hurt by the lava. Okay, just got to be careful. Just got to be careful. But as you can see, so far, we're doing, like, amazing, amazing damage. So at this point, it's basically a water bolt. But every now and again, I'm going to be able to time that water bolt by three. Which is... I mean, it's really crazy. Hey, I tell you what, we've got a heart, re po heart reach potions. So that's really helping out. This is nice. Okay. But I'm getting hurt really bad by that lava. <laughs> to be honest, I was kind of dumb for not doing that. I was meant to get that. That's just a good little tip just in life. Just always grab obsidian skin. God, I am really, really burning. Oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> I just want to make sure I don't die here. Alright, so we got four seconds left and then we can go back to the, uh, to the triple shot. Okay, so right click on that. Take this. Triple shot time. Oh my god, what was that? <laughs> that was amazing. Alright. Let's keep it going. Keep it going. The damage output is is wild. <laughs> this is really, really crazy. This might actually be the fastest I've ever done the Wall of Flesh in modded. Oh my god, I think it is going to be as well. Come on. Let's do this. 
I tell you what, I'm really honestly, I'm really glad I made the uh, the weapon now. I tell you what, let's try. Oh, I'm getting, I'm getting really badly hurt. I might just have to end this fight a little bit quicker because it's not going to be worth it if we die. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh my god. <laughs> I I really thought we were going to die then, just because uh, I was just getting burnt. All right, so let's take all of this back home. Bam. So what do we get? We got a. I can tell there's a few new things. So we got the PhD degree diploma. So this is from the Alchemist NPC mod. I've actually never seen this. Or have I? Wait, what is it? Oh, used to permanently upgrade your nurse. Opens up the healing interface after respawn. Oh, okay, right. So this is the thing I used in Calamity. What am I on about? I just don't really remember it very well. Broken dimensional casket. Uh, required for making... For... Required for making working one. Oh, it's broken. So this is from Alchemist NPC. Do I bin it or do I keep it? I'm not really too bothered. All right. We got a charm of luck as well. Two paper tubes and bam. So we got the demon heart, which is good. We got a summoner's emblem. We got a wall of flesh mask. And we got the laser rifle, which is kind of cool. Uh, so that wraps it up for today's episode. That was a lot of fun. Um, it's nice to get back into the swing of it. It's always weird when I have a little break. I always talk about this, but it's like really odd. Uh, so tomorrow I'll be back for another video. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be on my birthday. Probably not. I don't know. Make sure you send me happy birthday wishes though. All right. It's on the 16th. Don't forget. <laughs> I'm mainly on Twitter if you want to send it my way. All right. That's going to be it. Thank you all for watching. Shout out to our channel members as always. And I will see you tomorrow. All right. Have a good Valentine's Day, everyone. Peace.